What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are having a great day so far. Uh, coming at you today with something that I've been really, really excited to share with you. Um, been looking forward to this for a long time. Uh, unfortunately, it's not gonna be this booster box right here. If you were looking forward to that, unfortunately, not cracking into that at all. But today we will be getting into this MetaZoo Nightfall Spellbook. So to back it way, way up for those of you who aren't familiar with MetaZoo at all and the product, um, I don't want to say it's the next Pokemon because that seems like a super kind of silly thing to say. I mean, Pokemon has been around for 25 years. It's a global media franchise that produces uh, cards and video games and shows and uh, manga and stuff like that. So, um, you know, like I don't think it'll ever approach that level because Pokemon is just such a storied franchise with so many iconic characters and stuff like that. But in terms of like the most basic way I could describe this to you is probably a cross between Pokemon and Magic the Gathering. So um, the first that I heard of MetaZoo was back when people were coming back from the National in Chicago. Uh, they had a booth there. Um, people were like very curious about it, didn't know what it, was, what it was about. They were getting like these promo packs and stuff like that, the first edition packs. And then very soon after uh, the hype started grow growing and it blew up and then you just like couldn't get boxes anywhere. I regret having passed on a first edition booster box because I think those are going or staying like strong at around $1,000 a pop now. Um, but I knew I had to get in on this, not only because uh, I just love the artwork. I mean, I've shown you this uh, in a previous mail day, but just my little Space Penguins guy, my only MetaZoo card for right now. I just really love the artwork. I think that the uh, the product really has a ton of staying power. I know there are a lot of skeptics out there that aren't really a fan of how they're doing business in terms of like the availability of products, just saying it's another flash in the pan, but I'm not so convinced um, and it's because of the way that they've been approaching the way that they market their product and the way they they produce their product. So um, they're doing a lot of stuff that kind of acknowledges the digital age and the space that we exist in now. They're creating NFTs. They're uh, creating all this different merchandise and doing collabs. I mean, they did that collab with Tops, which sold out like instantly. Um, you know, so I think that not only will this stuff be a good investment moving forward, but I think that it definitely has staying power. I would not be surprised if we saw like some kind of uh, MetaZoo like manga or comics being produced, uh, a show, a video game within the next five years. I mean, it definitely has staying power. The character is really cool. I love the artwork so, so much, which is why that I wanted to purchase this booster box and will not be opening it pretty much indefinitely. Want to hold on to this as an investment, but today we do have plenty coming your way in terms of MetaZoo cards. Uh, so today it's going to be a spell book. And if you see right here, we have 10 booster packs, one, seal, uh, one sealed holographic promo pack, a metallic coin, one rule book, 60 MetaZoo sleeves, a token sheet, and an aura deck. So essentially this is like the equivalent of an ETB of Pokemon. I picked this up, I think for around like $90. So probably a little bit over retail or MSRP, I guess you could say, but I just want to get my hands on this a little bit late for a spooky season, but I really like this set. Um, a lot of the cards are based around like the spookier cryptids in the United States. Um, Cryptid Nation, the first edition release, the very first release was primarily centered around like folklore creatures like that. But I, I really, really like this product and I'm very excited to see where it goes because the money's there. I mean, people are spending crazy money to, uh, you know, grade this stuff. If you get those short prints, the red ink cards, they're like insanely uh, expensive to buy already. They're like numbering in like the tens of thousands of dollars now. So, um, very excited to get into this one, but I got to get through a whole bunch of this plastic here before I do. So while I'm opening this one, I'll give you guys my usual spiel. Um, if you're not already subscribed to the channel, please, please do so. Would love to have you guys as a member of the Sharp Corner Cards family. If you like this video, please drop me a like, drop me a comment. Always love hearing your guys' thoughts on the product and what I'm ripping. No, it's kind of weird with the non-sport stuff mixed with the sport, but I'm always curious to hear what you guys think about the artwork. Um, if you're familiar with the product, what you think about MetaZoo staying power, because I've definitely seen some mixed feelings about it. So uh, without further ado, let's crack into this box and let's see if we can't pull something big. So I am relatively like well-versed in terms of like what's good out of these boxes. Like as you can see here, um, my Space Penguins card is considered a reverse hollow. So the characters have that reverse hollow pattern. And I just love that pattern because it's very similar to the one that was used in the base sets for the Pokemon and the early Pokemon sets. So super nostalgic. But the most rare hollow cards, I guess you could say, they have this pattern, but it's the whole background. So got to look out for that stuff. In terms of the other rarities and stuff, um, we'll keep an eye out for those. But this is my first time seeing one of these opened. 
I've seen people just opening random packs. I try to limit my exposure to it because I like to be surprised at what I pull to. So this is our map for playing the game. I think the leagues are growing. I've seen, um, you know, some news about that. I haven't seen a ton of stuff about it in the city where I'm at, in New York City. Um, but I can only imagine that with time, things will grow. So this is the MetaZoo rulebook. So give you a quick flip through that in terms of what the cards do. I was never super into playing Pokemon or Magic the Gathering. Yu-Gi-Oh! was really the thing that I played a ton. So this is my Nightfall promo. So just the artwork is so great with the Wendigo here. These little ghosts and the pumpkins and the Mothman in the background. So very cool to have that. Put that up on the stand so our, pe our Space Penguins doesn't get too lonely. Let's see if it'll stay up in that package. Okay, so we got these aura cards and I'm pretty sure that these are just like the like the the cards that give you the ability to play the game so I don't think I'll open these I'll think the, I'll keep these sealed for right now want to get into these 10 booster packs these are our MetaZoo sleeves which are super cool just the design is so basic and that's for for a good reason <laughs> um so we got our 10 packs right here and then our damage counters which are spilling out all over the place I think I lost my coin there All right, so this is the MetaZoo coin. If you guys can even see that. See, there we go. We got the little Nightfall logo, which is the moon and the bat here. And then MetaZoo Cryptid Nation first edition on the back. So these are our damage counters, which are all slipping out. So I will put this back inside and try to reseal this box just so we have something nice to look at also. So let's do this. All right, so. All right, so, got our 10 packs right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So this is gonna be a longer rip than I expected. So I was originally planning to post this on a Wednesday. This will probably be a Sunday rip. So without further ado, let's get into it. So 12 cards, so that's looking like what, 120 cards. Artwork is super cool on this one. Don't know if there's any kind of trick to opening the packs, like there is with Pokemon and the four card thing, so I'm just gonna go for it. So right off the bat, we got an Arkansas Snipe. And shout out to uh, Mike over at Cardmanic. I saw him open some of this, really cool stuff. Uh, Ludwig, Jack-O-Lantern, a Pyre, Brain in a Jar, Torrential River, Dampen, and our first hollow is gonna be the Grafton Monster. So if anybody out there plays Fallout 76, this is a big <laughs> character in that one. And it's cool, you can see that the the hollow is a bit different from the Space Penguin one, Penguins one. It's got the stars around it, but if you can see, look real close, there's like a little ghost there. There's like a little spider web. So I just think that's so cool in terms of like, um, just the quality they put into these cards. So I'm pretty sure that this being gold means that this is the rarest of its kind in terms of like the different rarities. There's a silver, there's a bronze, and there's a gold. So I think this is probably up there. So very cool first hit. I will sleeve him after we get through this pack. So Potion Seller, Spiderling Token, Dusk, and a Light Aura. So I will put him, I'll probably put him in a regular sleeve because I like to see the backs of cards. There we go. Put them to the side for right now because I think definitely have some more hollows coming. Pack number two. Bell Buzzard. Nabba Rebobs. Mermaid Shimmer. Frostbite. Boogeyman. Sinister Shadows. Dover Demon. And another reverse holo is going to be Belled Buzzard. It's very cool. Flood the Earth. Nameless Token. Dawn and Flame Aura. So just, I just love the artwork on these cards. So we'll sleeve up our Belled Buzzard. So I'm not sure if it falls one holo per pack. But that'd be pretty cool. 
I think pretty much most of like their quote unquote base set or the common set does come in hollow. So oh, that was a, didn't even read it. A uh, Alex Handle Hound, Ludwig, the Bandage Man of Cannon Beach, Imprisonment, Boost Aura, Exquisite Stew, Unlucky Potion. Now the reverse hollow is going to be Indrid Cold. Oklahoma Octopus, Dynamite Token, Fog, and a Light Aura. So definitely a hollow per pack, it seems. Pack number four. Air Rods, Land Tax, Halloween Ghost Sheet, Sam's Holy Water, Brain in a Jar, The Purple Blob of Philadelphia, Veggie Man, and a Amicook. It's gonna be our reverse holo. So I'm not hitting anything full yet. Potion Seller, Shadow Token, Stars, and Cosmic Aura. So this is this is the big card that I'm chasing for right now is the Wendigo. This is like the uh, the char like the token character of the set. Um, would love to hit him in literally any any kind of hollow. That's probably the biggest hit out of this one. In addition to the uh, the red inks, which are like the shortest print cards, like those are like the most valuable cards right now, aside from like the error cards. Uh, and the samples. All right guys, so I guess my phone wanted me to stop rambling because just randomly in the middle of opening this pack, it just cut out. So sorry about that. Let's get back into this one. I think we're on pack five, right? One, two, three, four, or this pack six maybe. Uh, Destroy Aura, Cosmic Warp, Trinity Amulet, Fu Follet, Jack-O-Lantern Bomb, The Purple Blob of Philadelphia, Dover Demon. Our reverse is gonna be Napa Rebobs. To the side, Twin Meteor, another Nameless Token, River, and Forest Aura. So still no full hollow stuff. One other thing that I was saying before my uh, my camera cut out was that uh, I think the most valuable card out of this one, aside from the Wendigo, is the uh, is the Red Inks, and I think the. the the one out of this one is Old Scratch. It's like a little red devil card. There's only a hundred in existence. And I think one that was just created at PSA 10 recently sold for like around 10K. So crazy money. Uh, Black Eyed Children, which is super creepy. Uh, Cosmic Warp, Halloween Ghost Sheet, Frostbite, Graveyard's Mud, Crystallized Light. Is this our reverse? No, Dampen. Versus going to be Grim Reaper, so that's definitely a better hit out of this one, since Grim Reaper is one of the cover guys. Another reverse, holding that baby, that's kind of creepy. So Alaskan Vortex, Dynamite Token, Mountain, and Light Aura. So got to sleeve all our hollows as we're going. So we are six packs through. This is pack number, this is pack number six, or no, this is pack number seven. Dark Lightning Orb, Water to Wine, Mermaid Shimmer, Sam's Holy Water, Graveyard's Mud, Crystallized Light, Robert the Doll, Air Rods is gonna be our reverse. A Headless Horseman, that'd be an awesome hollow to get. Spiderling Token, Daytime and Dark Aura. So it'd be nice to just hit at least one of those full hollows. But I was always a fan of the reverses, even with the Pokemon. Pack number eight. Dark Lightning Orb. Wallow Lake Crustacean. Excavation. Sam's Holy Water, Boogeyman, Crystallized Light again, Vampire Mercy Brown, what a Qualopalic reverse, 
Lightning Alley, Dynamite Token, Lake, and Cosmic Aura. So it looks like the four card trick might work for this too. I'll give it a try. Pack number nine. do the trick one two three four so our aura should be on front i just mess that whole thing up probably uh adam ackler shadow token mountain forest aura dark lightning orb napa rebobs kinderhook blob smoke screen jack-o-lantern bomb headless nun which is lightning oh i did right and we got a bell witch very cool card. Yeah, I think I might post this on a Wednesday. I feel like you guys have been waiting long enough for this rip. I've been teasing it. All right, last pack. Let's see if we pull something crazy out of here. I'm hoping that they'll start uh, releasing more of this like on a retail basis because it's definitely, it's hard to get it at any kind of good price. Uh, I would love to get some blasters of this and just keep ripping this off on the side because I just I need to get those those great cards out of here. Uh, Guardian Angel, Zombie Token, Lightning Storm, Flame Aura, Absorb Aura, Light Elemental, Tribal Warcry, Smoky Spirits, Feign Death, Caster Center MD. I think there's two more. Dover Demon, or no, <laughs> two, uh, three more. Uh, Dispel Evil, and the last card is going to be a another reverse. So it is going to be just a Poltergeist. So all reverses out of here, but I have no complaints at all. This is the first time I'm ripping this. A lot of great cards out of here. Let's go over the hits real quick after I sleeve Poltergeist up. So just flash our Nightfall promo. Very cool. Off center, so I wouldn't grade it, but you really don't grade promos anyway. Let's do this real quick. So Poltergeist Reverse, Bell Witch Reverse, Qualopalic Reverse, Air Rods, Reverse Grim Reaper, uh, Napa Rebobs, Ami Cook, Indrid Cold, Belled Buzzard, and a Grafted Monster. So really awesome cards. I can't wait to get my hands on more of this stuff, honestly. The temptation to rip that one is like ridiculous, but I gotta, I gotta have some willpower. Hopefully I'll find some more of this stuff. Definitely let me know what you guys thought of the rip. If you'd like to see more of this, I'd love to get some more and rip it for you guys. Let me know if you ripped any of this. Let me know your thoughts. Always love hearing about that. And until next time, I'll catch you guys on Sunday for a box battle between me and Suede Collects. Bye, guys.